Welcome back, Half Monty, and this is the second tutorial that I said I was going to make. It's the outside of the game tutorial, the one I was alluding to in the in-game tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you how to change the textures and skins in your game. Um, also, how to edit those textures. Um, got a couple of little pieces of software afterward that I want to show you. Um, one of them actually is the hack that I used to make that last video how I had all those blocks in my inventory on a fresh new map. Um, again, uh, like I think I said in the last video, I, I'm not a cheater. I don't like cheating, and I don't do that in my Let's Play, and I only reason I would do that is if maybe I just want to build something, which is kind of the point of the game, so... Hmm. But no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cheat in my Let's Play, and I don't condone cheating, and I think it's kind of lame, even, even if it is to build something in a game like Minecraft. Anyway, to the point, um, uh, all your edits to the textures and skins in your Minecraft game are in in your app data folder. Which you're, how to get to that is you want to hit you either go to Run uh, or just hit your Windows key plus R. It's going to bring up the one or Run folder, Run window. Sorry, uh, and type in app data. I already had it typed in. That's going to bring you to whether you have it visible or not. It's going to bring you to the app data folder in your user. Uh, folder. Yeah. Um, in roaming, you're going to find your .minecraft folder, and in bin, you're going to find your Minecraft Java file. You're going to right-click on that. You're going to need, at this point, either... S <coughs> <coughs> uh, terribly sorry. You're going to need <laughs> either 7-zip or WinRare. I'm going to use WinRare because I like WinRare. Okay, um... Terrain PNG is the file mostly edited. Now it, you're gonna like notice this doesn't even look like I had already changed it. I'll go ahead and change it back to Brown Craft. Um, excuse me. Um, these files here you it, you can download different terrain files. So here's Animal Crossing ish looking one. There's Zelda looking ones. Um, but in Brown Craft. Uh, it's not brown craft. It's actually brown and bro brown and bloom. This that's the skin that I used. I've used in my videos thus far. Um, you basically just drag these folders in, like uh, see and the one I'm gonna use temporarily. I'm gonna see if, if people like him in videos. Is Doku's RPG um, version 1.1. I don't know if there's more recent versions, but you basically just drag it over gonna ask if you wanna overwrite stuff, you hit OK. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Um uh in in the Minecraft jar file you also find oh, I already skipped it. Um your care dot PNG stands for character. This is my guy Rush Leapbird skin that I made and put in here. Um okay so now you're probably gonna be like oh I want a big moon personal skin of my guy, whatever I want it to be. Well it's great. Um but you're gonna need some uh, editing software and paint. I've realized, at least for Win Windows 7 Paint, so you can't do uh, transparency uh, pixels, transparent pixels. Um, so I had to find some other option, and the best option I found is GIMP, because I didn't feel like pirating me some Photoshop. So I just went and got GIMP because it's free, and it does about 90% of what Photoshop does. In fact, they even made a GIMP shop um, overlay add-on type thing that makes it look and act a lot more like Photoshop. But GIMP's fine for now, so I'm going to go ahead and take... Uh, <clears throat> also, actually, there's even more user-friendly version of uh, Skin Editor out there. Um, MC Skin Edit stands for Minecraft Skin Edit. Uh, just go Google for that, you'll find it. It's on the forums. I, I'd give the guy credit if I had it. Let's see if it's in the reading. Aiden. Oh, Patrick Sw Sweden. That's the guy that made this. Minecraft Skin Editor Alpha 3 uh, Pre 5. So that, that should maybe help you Googling or finding this thing. It's pretty well done. It even gives you a preview as you draw on here. And it shows you, you know, face, left, right, but it tells you everything that you need to draw on. You do it pixel by pixel. And you can make some pretty cool skins this way. Uh, pretty, but uh, somewhat basic skins, I think. Um, and you need something like, see here's my character file. 
you need something like GIMP or Photoshop to make things look pretty good unless you're just like a freaking pixel artist. I'm going to zoom in on here and there we go and you can use I, I use the pencil, probably not that big of a brush one pixel and you can do whatever you want blah, blah, blah. Okay. and uh, what's really nice is you can use gradients and uh, a lot of other tools that make things look more natural and actually help you speed things up when you're making the skins okay and now that I got that out of the way again you just drop that into your Java file in the once you've opened it with WinRare or 7-Zip. Okay, now I got that out of the way. There's another piece of software called Cartographer, which is really nice. You just um, you just uh, do a Google search for Minecraft Cartographer. Let's see, another readme. Zombuster. He made it. Um, trying to give credit where credit's due. You could choose day, night, um, day slash night. I guess that's dawn or dusk. And, um, hold on, I'm gonna turn my mic off for a second. I got a cough really bad. Sorry about that. I don't know what that's about. Okay, you pick your world that you want to view. You have different versions of the maps. I already have them kind of rendered already in this folder. I'll show you what they look like. High color. Higher is brighter red. Um, normal day. Straight from above. Um,. That's my farm. This is the top of my house. That's my little uh, lighthouse thingy with the. Okay, oop. I want to do them in order. But I'll. Um, slice is like a slice, and I think you get to pick which layer you want to be, so you can kind of find stuff that way. That's kind of cheating to me. I don't really like that. Um, oblique just means from an angle. That's kind of nice. Whoop, whoop. Uh, well, zoomed in a little too far. Okay, again, farm, my tower, and top of my house. My favorite is oblique angle. Because it just looks like a higher resolution to me, just because uh, it's basically checkerboarded. That's like the only difference. But I don't know, it looks better to me. And that's cartographer. It's just, I don't know. It's nice to see your, your I wish they could implement this into a plugin for the game so you could see a mini map in the game or press M and see a map or something like that. That'd be nice. So you know where you were, so you weren't lost all the time, but until that happens. This is pretty good. Um and then I have a hack that I use to make the last video called Mine Edit. There's a couple other hacks. There's actually a replacement for the I think you replace it for the jar file or something that you throw in there. Just like a texture skin that can give you super speed, this, that, and the other. That's really annoying. I, I've never used that. I've seen people use it, and it's just gay. <laughs> but mine edit, I kind of needed to use because there's just there's no other way of doing those videos. Do open, browse to map. You find your map through your path here, app data roaming, Minecraft, saves. And then pick your folder. I'm gonna do no, not one. Well, I'll go, I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, click on the dot dat folder. It just gives you a warning: don't use pig spawners or kind of messed up or something like that. Here's my inventory for. Well, it doesn't know what that is. Well, it's not a glitch. Oh well. Uh, just uh, just in case. Well, no, I'll leave it. Um. <laughs> I don't want to edit my let's play game. Uh, anyway, this is uh, everything I have in my inventory. You click on whichever blocks. You can actually click multiple and then change whatever that item is. And then you like a stack of how many. And then if it's armor or a sword or something, you can change the damage level. Hit repair to repair it completely. Super repair, which I have no idea what it is because I don't use this program very much. Now you can heal yourself. That's kind of cool. I didn't know about that. Change the time of day. Uh, s uh, change your location of your spawn. And uh, the map thing is really weird on this. I have no idea what's up with that. Anyway, <coughs> that's the hack. And I don't plan on using it. And I hope <laughs> you don't either. It's really 
I think it would ruin the fun of the whole survival mode. But for tutorial purposes, I may use it again in the future. Or hell, I don't know if so many... I guess some people commenting who really, 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 really want a giant minecart roller coaster. I'd, I can, I could definitely do that, <laughs> uh, but it would not be legit. And I think that's gonna be it. That's everything for the outside of the game tutorial that I had planned. And I hope you all enjoyed yourself. And uh, before I leave, I'm gonna show you a quick. Uh, uh, jump of inside, jump into the game and show you how that texture looks. And this is the home screen of this texture. I'm gonna jump into World One. <clears throat> it is uh, basically your like Super Nintendo uh, RPG style texture map. It's uh, these as you know these are glass and the glass is now it's it's in I mean see through and invisible just like normal but it has basically just like a RPG style wooden slats across. Doors are kinda nifty. Uh, it's a little cartoony on the dirt and the uh, cobblestone and the, uh, the furnace looks cool. It's pretty neat. I might keep it for a little bit, just something different, but uh, those windows are kinda bugging me. For having a lot of windows, I like to just be able to see through them. Um, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh oh. Dirt looks weird. I have to get used to that. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think of this one. I'll keep it probably for the next episode. Maybe not much longer than that. Because I really do like that brown and bloom. And I think I'm going to call this video. And thank you guys for watching. Hope y'all learned something valuable or I don't know. <laughs> uh, but uh, keep on watching and try to make it interesting.